Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Dawn, and remain your host, Shadow Fury333. And this last match will be between Google Frog and Lori on Lonely Oasis. Which, actually, come to think of it, has not played been played much recently. We've seen. Well, the last time we saw this, I don't think. Not recently. I think Adam Sonia was the more recent one, although, admittedly, I've also been doing a lot of other stuff with Adam Sonia because I like that map. Mostly just testing. But yeah, we. No, wait, never mind. We saw it. Oh, when was the last time we saw it? Yeah, Ladies La Bonita has come up a few times, but no, nah, hasn't come up. This hasn't come up for almost a month now. Anyway, Google Frog is over in the south northeast with Cloakbot Factory. Lori with the Heavy Tank Factory. Hey, Lori, back to your old style. I like to see that. Lori has always been a fan of Heavy Tanks, and we haven't seen them go for Heavy Tanks in a while. Let's see what they do. Early Kodachi coming in here, which is pretty typical. Followed, well, by Welder, by Panther, by Kodachi. So pretty typical rating setup for Heavy Tanks. Not, I think this is a tricky one though. I mean, the thing is, is that the big problem for vehicles on this map is this map. This is the pathing for vehicles. This is the pathing for robots, for legged bots. Yeah. So there's an entire ramp that shortens the rush distance considerably that only exists for bots, not for vehicles. Remember, purple is unpathable. Red just means slow. Purple is totally unpathable. And that's probably why you never see vehicles on this map, or very rarely see vehicles on this map. But hey, we'll see how they go. Lori is the heavy tank specialist. So if anyone's going to make them work, it will be Lori. And as long as the Kodachi gets to the top row, or top plateau here, even the second plateau should be enough to deal some meaningful damage. But definitely the top plateau, if it's able to get there and stay there and not get killed, yeah, that could still deal a lot of damage. It's just getting up that ramp, that's the big problem. Now, that ramp is the only one that's pathable to anything that's not spiders, jump bots, or flying. But, still, getting up that ramp for vehicles is slow. And getting up that ramp for bots is not as slow. Yeah, it's redder for vehicles, it's slower for vehicles. And the Kodachi actually in a bad spot here. Google Frog able to finish it off, losing two glaives in the process, but still, that's worth it to get rid of that one Kodachi in their territory, no doubt, or no less. So, Google Frog, good on you. Get that reclaim. And at any rate, Lori is going to be setting up a few more metal extractors. I mean, this is the real big thing, right? Get get the metal extractor set up. You want those because if you have those, that lets you build up basically anything else. You get to rebuild the army, and for heavy tanks, they definitely need this. That's the biggest weakness of heavy tanks. They don't have any particularly lightweight units. Their lightest weight unit is basically the Kodachi at 180 metal. So you really want to make sure that you are getting as much money as you can playing heavy tanks. Once you get that money, it's no problem. Once you get to the point where people are building 400-500 metal units, heavy tanks fine. But that point never really comes against Cloaky. Cloaky's most expensive is going to be the Warrior at 220 that they're going to be building regularly. Other than that, you're going to be dealing with, like, really expensive things. Like, snipers, that sort of thing. Actually, snipers are really the only expensive thing. Cloaky Bot Factory is not a very heavyweight factory. So a bit of a complete opposite role here. I mean, Cloaky is pretty much entirely lightweight, and Heavy Tank's pretty much entirely heavyweight. Never really considered that before. Anyhow, Google Frog is going to be taking a bit more harassment coming in here, but probably not much. And once again, this is this is probably the worst place for Lori to approach on this map because those vehicles cannot go up the ramp. I'm not sure if the intent was to go up the ramp. Also, should point out that there's very few places to go up these ramps either. Like these cliffs here, once again, entirely bot pathable, or almost entirely bot pathable. Basically, ramps on both sides. More importantly, ramps on the inside that are bot pathable. But for vehicles, only the outside ramps are pathable. And also the only ones that seem more intentional. So yeah, that's the thing. This map, this is still going to be tricky. But now that Lori is approaching from the actual ramp they can use, at least to have some more confidence, they'll be able to do some damage. However, Google Frog moving in as well, not going for any kills. Just going to stake out positions, want to know what is going on, where Lori is setting things up. That's the real question. And it's a good question. It's definitely a question that needs to be answered for Google Frog to be able to continue assaulting anything. But it's... At any rate... Oh, oh, I mean, Panther's coming in at least. Doing its job. Doesn't regenerate health though, and neither... I know, Kodachi regenerates, doesn't it? Yeah, it regenerates. 
Panther does not, though. Panther is kind of stuck when he gets hurt. And Sides coming in for Google Frog, so this is a few Sides as well as an Air Factory on top of that, but still, that's some damage dealt. However, Lori so far able to hold what they take. Not able to take everything, but able to hold it when they take it. And there's the size coming in there. Some damage being dealt. The Kodachi needs to run away, and thankfully for it, manages to set one on fire. So it can at least continue to assault that one as it deals damage. And getting both of them on fire, so neither of them cloaked. The Kodachi able to escape. Deals some extra damage. That is what they need to do. Set things on fire. Like, that deals with sniper. That deals with, well, sniper as well. Actually, no, I don't think it does. It does deal. No, it does deal with sniper. Yeah, Sniper just can fire while remaining cloaked. Yeah, the Kodachi managing to do quite a bit of damage, actually. Getting rid of both sides. That's remarkably effective. Actually, no, this scythe is going to survive. It shouldn't burn. Is it going to burn? It's going to burn. Okay, getting repaired just in time. So the scythe, that scythe survives, but still good damage by the Kodachi. Doing a lot of work. Very good work, too. I mean, that, that work there, that was necessary to get rid of that. So, hey. Good job, fire. I mean, it's the first invention and still possibly the best invention. So yeah, Lori's commander making up for their... Well, okay, sort of making up for their vehicle's lack of pathfinding. I mean, making up for it, but unfortunately they do get stunned out by the Thunderbird, which is, of course, what you build an air factory for these days. You don't really build it for anything else. At all. Ever. And Lori's commander about to go down. Nothing able to save it because it's outside of pathing range of anything it has. Down it goes, and Lori kind of probably wishes they got that gunship plant a minute earlier. But they're still ahead economically. In fact, quite a lot ahead. In fact, they're excessing. Pretty badly. They might want to deal with that. And Hiro Kodachi still able to deal some damage, still able to mess around a bit. Where'd that scythe go anyway? Ah, scythe's still in the forest. And... Now that expansion finally getting broken, all the glaives coming in on the disarmed everything. Except for the Welder. The Welder, the what? that one Hero Welder trying its best. It goes down, but the Panther might be able to deal some damage. It won't survive, though. We'll be able to kill two or three more Glaives, maybe. If the Glaives mod it. Which I don't think they're even going for, so yeah. That doesn't really do much. And hey, Raven's coming in here to get rid of the Kodachis, because that's something they can just do. Bit of a juke there from Lori to at least avoid the Ravens for one pass, but I don't think it's going to last long. The Ravens did not drop their bombs, and they are diving in for the kill, so that is going to finish off the Kodachi. There it goes. Good try, though. Good juking. I like that. But at this point, it looks like Lori is switching entirely to gunships. Getting their rapiers up, getting a rapier army, and then from there, trying to deal with everything else. Good choice against the Glaives, must say. That will deal with the Glaives, no problem. Against all the planes, though, that's going to be an issue. Once Google Frog catches wind of that, they're going to send up Swifts, and that'll just do all the rapiers in. And even as it is, Google Frog has pretty much got total map control. I mean, a lot of Lori's map control was from this firebase over here, and that's done. That's gone. And here we go. Now, finally, Google Frog aware of the rapiers. And with that, I don't think it even matters. Google Frog just rushing in with the glaives, everything disarmed, and these rapiers might be able to deal some damage. The tough part is, of course, they can get bombed, and they are getting bombed, trying to avoid getting bombed. Managing to get rid of one of the Ravens, actually. But losing the entire expansion at the same time, that's the bigger deal. They lost everything. Again, Lori so far down. Google Frog's just going to finish off. I mean, the thing is, these these glaives aren't lasting very long. The rapiers definitely counter them. But Lori figures there's no way out of this. Throwing in the towel. Ah, well. I mean, I was hoping they'd be able to make it work. But unfortunately, they did not manage to. So that was that. Yeah. Kind of sucks they were accessing. And their energy income got pretty harshly damaged and wasn't ever that strong to begin with, so it didn't help. But really, they weren't pushing anything into their factory, regardless of energy income. Yeah, that... Wow, 4,000 metal? Holy crap, yeah, they were. Wow. Especially for a heavy tank. I mean, they were focusing a lot on getting that gunship factory up, but... They're rusty, and that's what it comes down to. Lori's just kind of rusty. Still pretty impressed by that Kodachi play. I mean, th those micro plays were amazing. But, yeah, just the macro play fell apart. It happens, Lori will get back into the game, and then next time we see them, most likely that this will not be an issue anymore. That's excess, that's atypical. 
But yes, the Thunderbirds. That's why people build air factories for Thunderbirds, because they allow you to kill everything. No questions asked. It's just dead. That's how it works. It's kind of scary that way, actually. Anyway, that's that, so I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone.